The Wonkavator is no longer a dream. Remember the Wonkavator and Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? Well, it's no longer just a figment of Roald Dahl's imagination, as German conglomerate ThyssenKrupp is developing its own that can go sideways, slantways, longways, and backways too. The multi-elevator is the first ropeless elevator system. It uses the same magnetic levitation technology and bullet trains to drive the elevator cabins. The elevator system features exchanges, which is a section of the track that rotates to change the direction of the cabin, allowing it to travel horizontally and diagonally. Standard rope and pulley elevators can only rise to about 500 meters. Therefore, some skyscrapers require multiple elevators, sometimes on top of each other in order to run from the top of the building to the bottom. Elevator shafts also take up a significant amount of building floor space. The multi-elevator is built within a single slim shaft that can fit as many cabins as needed. This technology could increase a building's usable area by up to 25% and allow more freedom in skyscraper design. The multi-elevator's doors open every 15 to 30 seconds, despite having fewer shafts than standard elevator systems. A 246-meter tall test tower has been built in Rottweil, Germany. Three of the elevator shafts in the tower will be used to test the multi-elevator system. As awesome as the Wonka-style elevator is, it can cost up to five times more than a standard elevator system, which probably explains why the firm has only signed one client so far, the East Side Tower in Berlin. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Buildings of the future are taller, bigger, smarter, and upside down. Design for another major London skyscraper revealed. Plans have been unveiled for the construction of a skyscraper in the city of London, which would match the height of the city's current tallest building. A skyscraper to be named One Undershaft will become one of the tallest buildings in the historic center known as the City of London, which is north of the River Thames. The 73-floor structure is intended to provide office space. It will host a public viewing gallery and restaurant at the top of the building and a public space at the bottom. The building faces London's current tallest building, the Shard, across the river. Developers say the building will rise to the same height as the Shard, at 309.6 meters. The official completion date of the building has not yet been announced. However, plans are to put the building into use within the next decade. Apple has grown so big it needs a new home. Building work on Apple's future headquarters is continuing in Cupertino, California, where it looks like a giant UFO has just landed. Apple's new Campus 2 headquarters is expected to open in early 2017. The main building is a ring-shaped, four-storied structure that looks like a huge spaceship. The site covers 176 acres. That's about the size of 100 soccer fields. At over 1,500 feet, the main building is greater in diameter than the Empire State Building is tall and wider than the Pentagon. More than 3,000 sheets of curved glass cover the main building, which is a perfect circle. The site will be completely powered by renewable energy, including solar power and biofuels. Around 80% of the site is green space, complete with jogging and cycling trails. Some 13,000 Apple employees will work at the new headquarters, which has seven different cafes. A thousand bicycles will be available for staff to use to get around the campus, which will be planted with 7,000 trees. The campus will also have a 1,000-seat auditorium, a 100,000-square-foot fitness center, and 300,000 square feet of research and development facilities. Parking garages above and below ground can accommodate 14,000 vehicles, while a visitor center offers views over the entire campus. The total cost to build the Apple Campus 2 is estimated to be $5 billion. That figure is equal to around 2% of the company's total cash reserves. The Apple Campus 2 will be the world's fifth most expensive building, and quite possibly the world's coolest office. This maglev vehicle also doubles as a living room. A Canadian company has released an innovative idea that expands the concept of self-driving cars into self-driving rooms. Known as Tradica, the self-driving room can be configured to resemble a car interior or an office or other type of room. The Tradica works like a maglev train, with electromagnetism elevating and propelling the cabin. 
When the Tradika cabin reaches its destination building, ramps are used to elevate it into its slot. The host building will detect the cabin and open the door automatically. The co-development with the Indian Institute of Science is still in its infancy. Whether the concept ever becomes a reality is an open question. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Prepare to get your mind blown. There's a bizarre new plan for what could be the world's tallest building, and it's literally out of this world. Instead of being built from the ground up, this futuristic skyscraper will be hanging down from the heavens. Analemma Tower is the brainchild of a New York City design firm. It consists of a tall tower suspended via cables from an asteroid that's been repositioned to orbit the Earth. The wandering skyscraper would be in a geosynchronous orbit, tracing a figure eight path on its daily loop across the northern and southern hemispheres. The proposal calls for the tower to be constructed in Dubai, where costs are lower. Once completed, the massive structure will then be taken to New York via orbital transfer. With the upper part of Analemma constantly exposed to sunlight, power can be harnessed by space-based solar panels, while water can be filtered and recycled. Residential units will be placed two-thirds of the way up, with lower floors reserved for business and entertainment use. The plans don't specify how to get on and off the property, but illustrations suggest people would do so via parachutes. With such an outrageous proposal, there's no telling when or if the hanging tower will ever make it to the real world. Still, you never know.